Our alliance is based on a, on a deep bond of common values and common interests. And increasingly, those values and interests are under attack by one malevolent force, radical Islamic terror. Mr. President, you've, uh, you've shown great clarity and courage in confronting this challenge head on. You call for confronting Iran's terrorist regime, preventing Iran from realizing this uh, terrible deal into a nuclear arsenal. And you have said that the United States is committed to preventing Iran from getting nuclear weapons. You call for the defeat of ISIS. Under your leadership, I believe we can reverse the rising tide of radical Islam. One of the worst deals I've ever seen is the Iran deal. My administration has already imposed new sanctions on Iran, and I will do more to prevent Iran from ever developing, I mean ever, a nuclear weapon. By the way, these ballistic missiles are inscribed in Hebrew. Israel must be destroyed. The, Palestine, the uh, rather, the Iranian uh, foreign minister, Zarif, said, well, well, our ballistic missiles are not intended against any country. No. They write on the missile in Hebrew, Israel must be destroyed. So challenging Iran on its violations of ballistic missiles, uh, imposing sanctions on uh, Hezbollah, preventing them, making them pay for the terrorism that they uh, foment throughout the Middle East and beyond, well beyond. Uh, I think that's a change that is clearly evident if we work together, and not just the United States and Israel, but so many others in the region who see eye to eye on the, uh, on the great magnitude and danger of the Iranian threat, then I think, uh, I think we can roll back Iran's aggression and danger. And that's something that is important for uh, Israel, the Arab states, but I think it's vitally important for America. These guys are developing ICBMs. They're developing, a, they want to get to a nuclear arsenal, not a bomb, a hundred bombs. And they want to have the ability to launch them everywhere on Earth, and including, and especially, eventually, the United States. I think the Palestinians uh, have to get rid of some of that hate that they're taught from a very young age. They're taught tremendous hate. I've seen what they're taught. And you can talk about flexibility there, too, but it starts at a very young age, and it starts in the schoolroom. Now, unfortunately, the Palestinians vehemently reject both prerequisites for peace. First, they, they continue to call for Israel's destruction inside their schools, inside their, their mosques, inside the textbooks. You have to read it to believe it. They name public squares in honor of mass murderers who murdered Israelis. And I have to say, also murdered Americans. They, they fund, they pay monthly salaries to the families of murderers, like the family of the terrorist who killed Taylor Force, a wonderful young American, a West Point graduate, who was stabbed to death while visiting Israel.